<coughs> Sorry about the cold. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do line of best fit and error bars in a Microsoft Excel document for Mac. I've already went gone into Word. You're the wrong one. And in here would be my data. The data I'm using is this process data from aspect 3 of DCP IBO format. <coughs> so just shift, click, oops, sh click, shift, click, command C, copy, and you go over to Excel. In Excel, you click the first heading and then enter in all that data. Oops. My fault. You just select the first heading and paste in all the data. Next, select the data. Click Insert, Chart. In Microsoft Word for, for PCs, it'll bring you to a chart wizard. In that chart wizard, select XY Scatter Plot. In there, you should be able to see these options for <coughs> the charts. Click Mark Scatter. After you're done with the next, all the other steps, a, a chart should appear after you click Finish in Microsoft Word 2007 or 2009. You can see that all my data points are on a pretty neat row here. But what we want to do is we want to find out the thickness of one sheet of paper, not 10 sheets, 20 sheets, 100 sheets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the data point and click add trend line. This adds a line of best fit to your graph. Here you can you can extrapolate the data by clicking backwards and allow you to extrapolate the data by five points backwards. You can also set an intercept to zero, meaning it intercept meaning the trend line, the line of best fit intercepts the uh, y axis and x axis at zero. This way, there isn't a discrepancy since you know zero is up. There's for zero pieces of paper. There's obviously no thickness. Click OK when you're done. You can also add by right clicking the data points, format data series from the drop down menu. In the column here or tabs, there should be error bars. This allows you to add error bars, with the cap or not, to the graph. Now, because these, this is pieces of paper, you can't really have that much of an error with a piece of paper. You can't have half a piece of paper within the measurement. So there are none on the x value. On the x value, which is the number of pieces of paper. In y error bars, there is a discrepancy because that's the thickness of the paper. It's not that much. We'll go with a visible value here, which would be 1 and we will put a cap on the end. Oops, forgot to explain this. Stick computer. Once again, in error bars, in Y error bars, You'll want to put this fixed value in as your instead of just the standard deviation. The standard deviation will give you this. The fixed value will give you it outward reading from the error bar. It's from the data point itself. You put your deviation in the fixed value column. You can also put in standard error if you don't know what that value would be. Or you can put in custom and specify a value. Now you can begin to see it a bit more clearly. You can also go in by clicking on the axes, going to scale, 
I'm specifying the major units, which is the ones that are labeled. I'm going to specify this at 10, because that way it coincides with each of the data points. The minor units, I'm going to specify at 1, that way I can see them better. You can display major and minor units using these options with the grid lines. After that, you can also change the, the number on the scale to how many decimal points are counted to by, de -check, by unchecking the link to source, going into number, and specifying the number of decimal places you wish to use. Click save, and it's done.